Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching some people cut their curly hair bangs. If there's anything harder than cutting straight hair bangs, it's curly hair bangs. Not only does it take technique, but it also takes artisticness. Artistry. The word is artistry. It's not just a one snip and done. All those curls hang at different heights, and every time you style your hair, they're gonna hang at different heights. It's a lot. We're gonna see what kind of technique these people today use. Maybe I can learn a thing or two, or maybe I can learn exactly what not to do. Probably that one. Up first, we have a video by Joya Atala. So today, I'm gonna be cutting some little wispy bangs. So I just wanna highlight one thing. She wants wispy bangs. I don't know what wispy bangs looks like on curly hair. I don't know if I would ever describe curly hair bangs as wispy, but that's just me. I think she means like very thin, not a lot of hair. Is that what it is? I do need a trim. I do need highlights, but I wasn't gonna trim my hair myself and trim my layers and all that. Um, I would definitely mess it up and I don't even want to try that, but I feel like bangs are a little bit easier. Ah! <laughs> I would disagree. I would actually start with just trimming some layers, just a little thing, you know, and then move up to the bang thing, because guess what? Bangs are short. Bangs take a long time to grow back. Bangs are in the front of your face, and it's the first thing people are gonna look at. So maybe don't start there. I've trimmed bangs before, but mostly like little side ones, but I kind of want, not like full, but just like some little wispy pieces. I watched a video from Mains by Mel. She made a video in like 2018 on how to cut your bangs. So she said to cut like in the middle of a curl, and cut shorter than where you want it to be. So I think I'm just gonna cut it like right here because it's probably gonna bounce up. And she said to cut at an angle. I don't know how I'm gonna do that with this, but we'll try. Okay. Okay, we did the first cut. It looks fine. It's fine. Okay. Oh, it's short, too short. So I found this one. I think I'm gonna cut it like the same length, like in the middle of this curl. Why would you cut the next piece the same length as the previous piece when the previous piece was too short? Where is the logic here? What am I missing? <laughs> oh. oh my God. I got them wet just so that way they would start to curl and um, definitely made a huge mistake, but I'm just gonna keep cutting the sides. Oh no, no. <laughs> it's even worse when it's wet. No. It's okay, just add more hair from the behind those hairs and make them longer. We can still save this. Oh God, it just keeps getting worse because now we have the hair all the way up here and then we have the second one all the way down here. Where is the connection there? Let's get the next piece a little bit longer and a little bit longer and a little bit longer, you know? Instead of like, whoosh, whoosh, ain't gonna cut it. Okay, I dried it a little bit. All right, let's either cut the hair completely wet or completely dry. Let's not cut some dry and some wet because then you're gonna get weird height mixture going on. I'm gonna cut another piece a little bit longer than this one. Definitely not feeling this at all. No! I want so much better for her because she would look so good in the proper bang. I can see the vision. I know what she's thinking, but it's just not being executed correctly. And I'm disappointed and I'm sad. Okay, I'm gonna pick just like one more just to cut it like a little bit more. Same thing on this side. So with curly hair, lay it down and cut it where it's naturally falling. Don't pull on the hair when you cut it. What will happen is you'll cut it down here and it'll spring back to here. You can pull on it a little bit to separate it out, but then let it bounce back and cut. Okay, she said, not really touch it up until like you wash it next just to see what happens. So I'm not gonna do that. I might just add just a little bit more just to the side. No, don't do more. Just stop. Just stop. <laughs> So, um, I actually hate it and I wish I didn't do this because now I look literally hideous. I guess I'm just gonna wait for it to grow. I think after I wash it in a couple days, maybe it'll look better. I don't really know what to do. These are definitely too short. Like if they were just a little bit longer, this is not it at all, so. Okay, we can fix this situation. What we're gonna do is take some more hair behind the current bangs you have. Just a little bit more, another layer. We're gonna get that water in there. We're gonna let them fall how they naturally fall. And we're gonna cut the next layer on top a bit longer, all right, to hide the kind of error underneath. It'll just add 
add some more volume and texture underneath because you had those shorter bits underneath the longer hair. Next time, just don't put weight on it when you cut it, but you can fix it. But I agree with you. I don't think it's like the optimal look for you. I don't think it's horrible though. And you could definitely live with this. It'll grow another half an inch in a month. So you'll probably have your desired bang in a month. But next time, let's just maybe um not do it ourselves, you know? <laughs> Up next, we have a video by Jessica Eve. I have been natural for about four or five years now, and I haven't cut my hair since I did my big chop. I saw a lot of girls that just had curly bangs. Now, I haven't had bangs for a very, very, very long time. I have never cut my hair since it has been curly, and I do not know what the outcome is gonna be. Dog nervous. <laughs> she said she's never cut her hair. Ah, uh, so we have no experience. and. Uh, great, all right. At first I thought maybe I should go to the salon, you know, get it done professionally so I don't end up on Brad Mondo's channel like hair fail. What the hell is that? I love a good inception moment. They're my favorite. Look. You're here. Welcome. Thank you for messing up your hair so I could make content about it. Love you. So like everything I do in my life, I watched a few YouTube videos already, so I am pretty much a professional now. Yeah, that's usually how it works. You watch a few videos and you're a professional. Or you're like me and you do hair for 10 years and then still nobody thinks you're a professional. <laughs> 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 With most of the videos that I saw, the girls usually put their hair to the front and part it. So we're gonna part it first. She has some beautiful hair. I am nervous to see it go. And it's very thick, which is gonna be a lot of cutting going on. I'm not gonna just go in all willy nilly. I know you guys are expecting that, but I'm gonna have some order to this chaos that's about to start. Oh, we're gonna do some sectioning. I wouldn't exactly recommend that with curly hair, but at least she's doing something to put in effort. I have some previous knowledge of cutting my bangs because back in the day when my hair was relaxed, I used to cut my bangs pretty often. So I'm thinking it's kind of the same thing. Kinda? Uh, it might not be at all. Okay, so she's doing like a triangular bang section, which I think is fine. I do worry. Well, I'm not really worried. Okay, I'm worried. The feeling that I'm having right now is definitely a sense of worry. <laughs> Again, she has a lot of hair. She's cutting this whole chunk going forward, which I think could be really cool, but she needs like layering in there. It can't just all be one length and we need like some roundness to make it all come together. We'll see what the technique is. We are working with all this. I'm going to cut at least to my nose in the center and then I'm gonna taper off to the sides. Oh snap! <laughs> that seems like pretty good so far. I don't know what the face I just made was, but I'm like digesting this and I think it's okay so far. So I used to do it, um, line it up with like the arch of my eyebrow and here. So I'm gonna tuck the part behind my- <laughs> Now the rest of this is just kind of gonna be cut straight. Hold on, I thought you said cut straight. You're not cutting anything straight right now. You're actually completely doing the opposite. But I'm glad you're not cutting it straight because that would have been weird. It would have been too far with the straight bangs and the, the too far, too much. <laughs> Okay, so that's what it's looking like so far. Okay, it looks a bit heavy. Heavy for sure. Now we're gonna bring these pieces back in. Let's keep going down in an angle. We're putting weight on the hair as we cut it. We can't do that with the curls, guys. I'm sure you could, okay? Curly girls, don't come after me. The curly girls come after me a lot, so I don't need it today. Love ya, but I will say right now, and let's just write this down in front of the screen. I, Brad Mondo, don't know everything about curly hair and never claimed to know everything about curly hair, period. So I'm glad we got that out of the way. But in my head, I would um, not put tension on the curls as I cut them so they don't spring back up and look crazy. Oh God, does it look crazy? Let's just keep going. So hard for me to cut with my left hand. Not not recommended to cut like this. Please don't. Oh, don't. No, don't cut it like that. <laughs> All right, I think I pretty much have the shape that I want. I'm just gonna wet the bangs. Are you sure that's the shape that you want? 
So this side you can see is way longer than this side. So I'm going to cut this up a little bit more just to even it out. And I'm going to clean up a little bit. I think I'm pretty much done. We're going to diffuse this. Alright, so my hair is semi-dry, so I'm gonna take down the back and we're gonna see how this looks. My bangs look extra crisp right now and my hair just looks like an ashy mess. But I really, really like it. Like, I'm really digging this. Look at my white patch. What do you guys think? Like, let me know in the comments below. I think it looks great. Oh my god. I'm in love. I can't wait to like put my hair up. <laughs> Okay, so this is look at how it's gonna look. It's gonna be so cute. Oh, the I'm gonna consider this video a half a fail, a half a success. Because those things look incredible. I don't know how you got here. I don't know what just happened. I feel like I'm... What the f***? Just how do they look that good? The technique was a fail, but the end result was a A++++. I love them, but I would love to see the rest of your hair with like more shape. Like, oh, you would look so good with like a rounded curly moment with the fringe and the this and the that and the ooh, eh. It would look so good. You know what I mean? Probably not, but it would look good if you can catch what I'm saying. Congratulations for ruining your fringe and then pulling it all together last second. This next video is by X short for Megs. I had the idea to cut my own bangs. Honestly, I feel like I'm gonna mess it up. It's just hair, so like it grows back, and if I f it up, I f it up, and it grows back. See, that's what I always say when I cut my hair or like color it, but I will still keep telling myself that it grows back because it does, but logistically, it takes the f year to grow back. Too long. Yeah, my unprofessional cutting scissors. Oh, is that what professional hair cutting scissors look like nowadays? You're right, you guys. I really am not a professional, am I? I don't even know what professional hair cutting scissors look like. So I'm just gonna hope and pray this works out. Um, it's probably not going to. Um, I don't recommend this. <sighs> We're doing all of that hair, aren't we? We're cutting all of that. All right. Oh no! Why do we go in like that and cut so much at once? Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. I like literally don't think this is gonna work very well. What is even going on? I don't think she's using one bit of technique. We are just going for it. It's getting so short. Oh. Why are we cutting upwards? Where are the scissors? We're going so far up that we where? What? Um I literally think this is like the worst thing I've done in my life. Um, I don't know what you've done in your life, but this probably does top one of the worst things you've ever done. All right, let's wet the hair. Let's not do that. Let's make these bang rounded. You know, go a little short in the middle and a little round on the sides. and it'll, it'll really help the whole look come together. Yeah, that looks really bad. Also, I don't know why I cut these pieces. Just ignore the fact that I did that. She's absolutely not still cutting it. I just know that she's not doing that. I know you're not doing that. I hate that I can't really see what she's doing, but then every time she puts her head down into the screen, it's even worse. I don't think I can savor this. I'm not really realizing the extent of my damage right now. I'm kind of not processing it. I just like keep cutting more hair and like hope it like gets better, you know what I mean? I literally am sitting here being like, oh, she's done. Like, ah, couldn't get any worse. Still in there cutting, cutting more. I don't know why. I really don't. It just keeps <laughs> getting worse. It just keeps getting Oh, I feel so bad. I want to help her. It's salvageable with a good style. You know, we can make it look good. Anything looks good when your hair is styled well. I don't think it looks much better. Right here looks good. <laughs> when you put it down, it looks like shit. 
Oh, maybe I didn't f it up. We need to like blend everything in. It's too long and heavy with the short. You know, everything needs to be kind of like rounded out a little bit. Well, it's a look, um, but it's not necessarily a good look. Thankfully, I can, you know, just like put it back and put it in like bobby pins. For anyone wondering if it, do they think it's a good idea to like cut their own bangs at home, I don't recommend it. I mean, maybe I'll grow into liking it, but the thing is, I don't think I like it. Uh, not much went right. I actually don't think anything really did, but um, they'll grow back quick and um, we're not gonna do it again, right? And then if we do it again, we should figure out how to properly do it. You can definitely clip your hair back or wear it in like a ponytail or something. If you wanna just wait until they grow, <laughs> we can hide them, it'd be fine. Right? Well, <laughs> I'm gonna be recovering for the rest of the week from the trauma I experienced today. Um, scary. If you guys like check out my hair care and my hair color brand so your hair doesn't fall off <laughs> and turn to shit, then do it. All of my products are very good for your hair. Also, our color has a bond builder built into it. It's like a deep conditioning treatment and bond building treatment and color treatment all in one. You can check everything out at xmodohair.com. It is linked below for you. And you can also check out me and my brands on Instagram. Make sure you guys check out more videos of me. Here you go. Let's hang out more. Let's do it. It'll be fun for us. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye.